Hello there and welcome. I'm Ole Brugger and today I'm gonna extend what I built previously. I actually fell in love with this 15 by 15 tile I used for my camp and I brought out the last two pieces of scrap foam I had and some new boards of new foam. I will build three more of these mega tiles that will enable me to make a full board that is 30 by 30 inches. I think I will add some trees as well. I have no idea how yet I got these, but I don't know if I'm gonna use them yet or do something else, but time will show. Right now, I'll make three more mega tiles. So let's get started. First, we need to cut the foam to the right size and make sure that we have a straight edge. The armor painted foam is only 15 by 12, so we need to attach a bit of foam to extend it. I'll need my hot glue gun and some toothpicks. I'll put the toothpicks inside of the board and press it together. Use the glue gun and that's pretty much it. All three boards are done and now I just need to cut it to size so it will be 15 by 15 inches on each side. However, on one of the boards I cut an inch too much off, but that's not a problem. I can glue it back on and cut it to the right size. For this I'll try to use my handheld hot wire cutter. And with the metal ruler it works perfectly. I will roughen up the surface with some sandpaper. All the tiles are cut up to the right size and it's time to plan the road system. I'll just do some freehand drawing where the road is going to be and I'll maybe not stick to it, but this is just to make a reference of where to put the road. I'll just put on some PVA glue all over the tile and I will use some rough sand where I'm going to put the greens and some fine sand for the road. I will set them to dry overnight and then it's time to give them some paint. For the green I will use the wilderness and woodland and for the road I will use the dungeon and subterrain. Then I will use a big dry brush to put on some chocolate brown just to make some contrast and give it a more dirty look. After the paint has dried up I will spray it with some very thinned up PVA glue. This is just a glue mixed with water, maybe it's a 60-40 uh, ratio. Uh, there's actually more water than glue. I'll give it this summer undergrowth on top of all the brown and then I'll use the battlefield grass and top it off with some dry green from the green stuff world. To make sure everything is tight and sealed up I will give it another round of spray glue. To make sure all the roads look the same I will use this Israeli sand just to give it a highlight. I want to make some base plates for the trees and I went out to my workshop and adjusted my saw and cut up some 2x2 two two inches of bases. I made it out of MDF that was 3mm thick. I cut off all the corners of the plates on my bandsaw and smoothed everything out on my belt sander. To attach all the trees to the bases I used some super glue and activator. To give the bases some structure I will use this dark earth from AK and while it is still wet I will sprinkle on some of the summer undergrowth. We are done! I'm very happy about how this turned out. I really love the flexibility of the road system and I can make a ton of different kinds of setup and I think my players will enjoy a couple of games in this environment. However, these trees I'm not quite satisfied with this already. I lost some of this thing. It keeps falling off. Um, I don't know if I should maybe put some paint or maybe a lacquer or some kind of spray adhesive. But I think I will make my own in a future video because maybe I can do better. Back to the tiles. They are going to be very useful and I'm quite happy about it. The road system is very flexible. Thank you for watching this video to the end. I really appreciate you being here. And in the future, we will have more videos coming up. I will try to keep up a release plan between Saturday and Sunday at midnight. But goodbye for now.